Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2020 Rewind, my time of looking back at some additional level 50 heroes, rogues, villain vigilantes that I have on the City of Heroes Homecoming server, specifically the Excelsior Shard. This is number one. This is Nordic Star. She's a brute and she has staff fighting. She has uh, fire mastery and she is running energy aura armor. She's got this sweet little rainbow, uh, not say rainbow, but this coloration, which I went with the idea of her looking like the Aurora and got that with some of the uh, aura costume parts, but also running the slide for prestige power gives you some additional flaring, glowing stuff. So anyway, she's a bright, flaring beauty of a beast. And she's going to go in here to these council level 52s, running at time six. Ooh, look at that. Another little sneaky peek group over here. Uh, so there's a little, looks like there's a group down here, another one over here. This is a noob trap. And so I'm going to go ahead and showcase uh, what she can do against 52s and go through her powers, show you how those work in action. Just went through my mids build. If you haven't checked that out, Make sure you take a look at uh, that video that I posted about her different power sets and choices of powers and strategies that I'm planning on using. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually show you what I'm talking about. And step one is, hey, why is this a noob trap? Well, it's a noob trap because noobs, new players, are just idiots. Uh, they see this juicy group down here, right? And what do they do? They charge straight ahead, ignoring that there might be something on the left or the right. They're running the red light. They're going right down here. They start fighting. And then what happens is these guys see you and they come in from behind and you get sandwiched or probably worse is the idiot that ran up here and triggered everything. They're fine, right? Some brute, some tank, something like that, beating these guys down. Meanwhile, the squishy people that were following behind you dutifully trying to buff and support and help you who have those low hit points and no shields, they get crunched from behind because this group comes out. After you just aggroed, they see all these juicy uh, soft targets back here, and they just crush them. So, new trap. Keep your eyes peeled. Look at that. This could be the same group, though. This distributed. All right, so here's what I want to do. I think what I'm going to do is going to book up here. I'm going to taunt these guys so they come this way. Because I talked about it in my build. One area of weakness I have is range and AOE defenses. So I want to get these guys to come around. So I'm going to taunt, get them to follow me, and then engage this group over here. Maybe I'll even kind of tuck in behind this machinery here a little bit so it'll bring everybody around in one little area. So let's go ahead and I'll probably taunt this guy that should trigger him and the other guy next to him, there's an Archon there. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my melee. Hell, you know what I'm really going to do? This. guys remember I'm testing my taunt stacking here I did see some taunting already or stunning that is so I've got stun in my incarnate blast but I've also got it in my Taunts, I've got it, it's not my taunt, I have it in my taunt aura. I've got it in energy drain. I'm trying to see if it's stackable so I can leverage it as some defense here. By the way, you can see when I am clicking these staff attacks that occasionally they light up like right there. That is going to allow me to activate that Staff Mastery special power. And what did I say I wanted to run? I wanted to run Form of the Soul? Make sure I'm running the right one. Yeah, I want to activate this one. So Form of the Soul. That gives me the regen and recovery when I hit uh, Sky Splitter, which is that big attack where I go up there and just like scoop somebody. 
Uh, or if I activate Eye of the Storm, I'm going to reduce defense and targets and additional. That's what I'm doing, the spin attack, this one. All right, so that's what I've got going on there. So look for stunning. If I can stack enough on these guys between the aura and the energy drain is what I optimally would like to do. And then I've got a stun here in Merc sorry in precise strike and a stun here in sky splitter plus my big old nuke has one. Let's throw this on these guys. Let's see if I can start stun stacking on these guys. Yep, he's stunned. But that was probably just from the two melee attacks. All right, there he goes. He's stunned. So that guy got stunned by the auras. All right, interesting. It's, so it worked on one guy for sure so far. That's, of course, not enough. I need it to be much more reliable than that. Launch your ass over here. Right, let's see if I start stun stacking. Yeah, he's stunned. And I gotta remember the other thing I want to do is maximize my defense when I get into a fight, so that's where guarded spin comes in. I like to open with that attack. Alright, so let's do this. Um decimate that group. Done, look at that. Nice. So, I mean, just that alone is a juicy stun. I wish the Triumphant Insult was actually a mag, too. Considering it only lasts like one and a half seconds or something. Guy split his ass. So right now, I'm not even being scratched. Can definitely take on large groups of plus twos, not a problem. Check your corners. There's a group of but look, there's plus threes. I think I'm gonna go take these guys on so I can Hit this guy right here. All right, stun somebody there. It's more stunning go with the big nuke. She's got a lot of damage output as well. Single target drain. That gets me up to full. And down he goes. Let's keep going. Let's head down this way. All right, so 53s weren't a problem. Let's head this way. There's a group right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and activate melee. Throw this. So I get some stunning with this. There we go.
just, I don't know how much of the uh, stunning is from my Entropic Aura, how much is just straight from the Energy Drain, because that has the two stun procs in it. Let's see if it shows up in my combat stats. Keep my eye on that. There's my friend. 52s. We're going to do this. Should I pop a Matica's ass? I want to do this. I want to pull some guys. Can come over here for a second. Come on, guys. Come on. You know he want to come down here. Go back and look at the uh, some of the damage text over here. It's just flying too fast for me to see if the triumphant insults kicking or not. For sure, that stuns. And that's because I have the... Was it, uh, the Endurance Drain stun in there. It's an Energy Manipulator, I think. Down and out. Right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this while I get the next video or the next mission set up. Uh, that was pretty much a piece of cake. 52s times 6. I'm going to run 53 times 8 next. Uh, should be obviously a little bit harder, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I also want to take a look at my chat box here, uh, my chat window, and see if the triumphant insults were procking it at all. And the record all right be back part two all right so i've got my combat window open just to see what's happening because i couldn't find a record of it during the combat but i think it's because too much stuff was flying but i am seeing here that it does show up it shows up as you stun fake nemesis with the triumphant insult chance to destroy it now it's only a mag one so it's not going to stun him but it just helps me to see on a boss. I think you need a mag four to affect them. So let me see what happens when I do energy drain. So that's just it. You hit him, energy drain. You hit him with the chance to stun. Energy manipulator stun. Triumphant insult stun. Both hit that guy. But the bosses weren't.
if I do this, land a stun there. Hit him with another one. I stun him with Sky Splitter. But that's only a mag 3. It's not enough to stun the boss. I need to layer with my aura. Let's try this. Yeah, he's stunned. Okay. So it says I hit fake nemesis with Sky Splitter. Sky Splitter. I stunned him with Sky Splitter. But the Mag 3 by itself should not have been enough. So he must be... Yeah, okay. So the Warhawk had this chance to stun with Triumph and Insult. All right. So it looks like the Triumph and Insult is definitely procking. But it's weak, right? It's only a plus one um, mag to stun. So maybe in tandem with the other things, it'll be good. My hope is the Aura and the Energy Drain together would be enough to reliably stun minions and maybe lieutenants. The bosses are going to require me to hit him with the staff attack. Because if I can reliably stun three, four guys around me in every big melee group, that's great mitigation right there. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire up this next mission that I've got. Archon Leary. Me to Bosses solo. Yep. Yeah. Team size is going to be 8. And the levels plus 3. Select that task. Alright, this is going to be the second and last solo mission I'm going to run. Just to show, again, showcase how this build works. What it's designed to do. What it can or can't do and then once you get into teams it's going to be much more chaotic so it's hard to showcase your build specifically on a team but so far you know she's handling herself no problem all right we got 53s that's fine there's this isolated group right here so this will be easy enough i think i'm just going to taunt these guys back normally you're right you could taunt them run around the corner or something like that but i'm just going to just try to isolate a smaller group here to just make sure i don't have any problems with the 53, and then I'll maybe do some crazy or stupid stuff. How did the other guy not show up? This guy right here. Was he standing right there? Alright, so you taunt him like that. Break that line of sight. Start working... damage i can start building up my defense with guard and spin stun the boss so the problem with the uh stunning overall strategy is aside from the low mag is the short durations you know it's only one i think second with the triumphant insult and then the other ones i think are like three seconds for energy manipulator so even if i did land enough on a boss at the same time to stun them. They're going to be stunned for like a second. But maybe it's going to give me a chance to heal or just lower their damage output 10%. I don't know. Stunned his ass. So I like these fast animating, fast recharging attacks. I can just keep going. I'll tell you, that's actually really good mitigation. It's right there, your eye of the storm, knocking them down like that. Because that works on bosses. Did that guy res? No. Alright. 
I'm going to try some crazier shit now. Get some guys to come down here. Fours are in here, fifty threes, I think. Bunch of frickin' galaxies, I hate these guys. He's gonna res. Wouldn't be galaxies without a res, right? like two groups 54s and i think it's some 53s in their hands so let's mix group 54s again target rich environment Stun that boss or not. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, Rez. Why not? Double XP, right? Sit the frick down. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and transform. Wolf out. So, overall, the knockdowns are more reliable mitigation think than the stun is. Let's get this guy to burn. Sit down again. Sit down again. Okay. Done. There's a few guys in here, huh? So melee uh, hybrid is giving me what regen boost and defense boost 
Well, I got enemies around me. Let's see what my defense numbers are right now. So, yeah, my melee goes up to 50 some percent when I hit with that power. Guarded spin. I got two bosses, so I didn't know that. Alright, let's finish off. This guy's rezzed once already, so he should be first to go. Nice if I could line these guys up, my cones. Don't res. Down he goes. Alright, so I mean, taking on 53, 54 is really not having a huge problem. I think I've had to use Energize legit once. I want to try this. I'm going to go in here and just freaking hit him with this. So I got stunning, I get. Got two guys stunned for a second with that one. Melt some armor. Yep, res some more. Go for it. Come on, this bull crap. Start getting up. Ready? Knock him down again. Let him get up. Knock him down again. Oh, knock him down. That's weird. Rezzers, 54s. My little pets out too. Let's show them what they're gonna do.
I don't know if I needed to use Rebirth there, but might as well. I'm going to use Energize to get my Endurance reduced. The problem with these little uh, Boreal essences, essences is you can't see them. They're so freaking small. Just, yeah, keep resin. Let's go for it. I'm going to finish this guy off back here. Start narrowing down the odds a little bit. Yeah, I think if I had, like, some more reliable attacks that do stun, like if I was energy uh, melee, that'd be a better way to go with what I'm trying to do here. So let's say you were energy, energy. Just get all the stuns and your punches and stuff. That's a big, juicy room. Let's see if I do this. I'm going to nuke these guys. Let's do this. One. Two. Oh, man, just killed my pet. A hole. These guys look lonely. I don't even know if I'm in range of that Borealis's aura. Yeah, okay. I got assault. Oh, stop with the freaking resin, please.
There you go, another res. Love it. That's why I have rebirth right there. Just to my energize was down. Could have just clicked some greens, but why not? I've got the incarnate power. I'm gonna use it. Convert these into something on lead, like some purples. I'll have to go back and watch the video and specifically try to get a count on how many times I stun people. I'm going to go in with Melt Armor. Pyronic. Fireball. Energy Drain. Eye of the Storm. I'm going to start swinging away. Guarded Spin. Another Fireball. Another Guarded Spin. Innocuous Strikes. Guys, to get closer. Keep this guy from wolfing out. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, that guy was so dead. Hoping that nuke would have just finished him. He's down, he's out. Three, so we got one more group to go. I think so. Enough the resing, you guys. It's getting old. guy wolfs out, I'm going to be pissed. There we go. No wolf for you. See, energy drain's not really a good mitigation with this build. Stay 
stay down. Let me guess, he's gonna res it. Yeah, there we go, why not, right? And that was everybody, at least enough. Okay. Exit the mission. All right, so really no problem. Had to heal a couple times, uh, which was what I had mentioned in the build video that you got a lot of defense, you got a lot of resistance, but it's not foolproof. So you're going to take damage. You're going to rely upon Energize over here, which is not a great heal. Let's see, what's the numbers when I click it? 755, you know, it's better than Electric Armor's heal, but not by much. Uh, it's better as a, gives you some regen. It gives you uh, Endurance Discount. I like it for that, so that's why I'll use it a little bit earlier in a fight, let's say. Uh, but I also have the backup of Rebirth, so I've got that second heal if I need a bigger one. And, of course, I got green that I can click on my Inspiration Tray. So I'm not worried about the healing too much, unless it's a really just non-stop fight, 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 and, you know, things... Or if I get some minus recharge thrown on me, that's never a good idea. Although I do have some resistance to that in the build. I forget which one of the armors has it. Or it might be one of the you're uh, always on. Auto, let's see, that's Endurance Drain Resistance. Yeah, it's right here in Energy Protection. You do have some slow resistance, so... It should protect you a little bit from minus recharge, but still that can mess you up. Other than that, I mean, just the things I was talking about in my 50-50 showcase near the end there. Since they've revamped the console, these level 50 versions, all the resin they do now, and a lot more transforming into wolves, it seems. So between that, this becomes annoying. And I don't think it is really changing the game as far as I think the intended target was people that are just uh, farming these radio missions, council, 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 make it harder. But for a team of eight, especially against them incarnates, it's not going to matter that somebody reses. It's usually they're dead before they can res. But if you're trying to solo and you just can't land that last blow like you want to, that's what it becomes a problem. They get up again. You got to fight them again. You know, for this build, it's not too much of a big deal because I do have you know, some decent damage output, high survivability. But when I get to my corruptors and defenders, I see it being a problem. Not so much. Depends on the build, but my corruptors had issues with the original council. All right, we're going to wrap it there. I think the first fight took me... 10 12 minutes the second one was probably 20 i'll have to watch the video to see exactly how long it took me but but overall this is the way the build works you got defense you got resistance you got mitigation probably the knockdowns are better uh but you can stun a little bit i don't know if it's better to uh, swap the stun procs for let's say damage because I do have these perfect zingers I could throw into those. So instead of um, the triumphant insult here in Entropic Aura and Energy Drain, I could pop in the chance for side damage and get some damage out of it. So a rickety raid or something's going on. A rickety. Uh, so anyway, that's the idea there. Hopefully that was good for you. Got some information about how this build works. I'm going to go ahead and get a team or something going or join a team. But this Rickty raid is probably going to be a bunch of people just smashing this Rickty. But uh, we'll see what happens. Catch you in part three. Team.